So you're wondering how to get a soundboard. Well, today is your day because I'm here to help you. But you might be wondering, why is the video 15 minutes? Well, because it's step by step on how to do every single thing. Because in my last video I made, lots of people are getting confused about what they were doing and I was going a bit fast. So I'm going to recreate it step by step. All right, to start us off, we are going to need VB audio cable. VB audio cable makes it so our mic can go through. That's what makes it so the software or any application can hear you, like Discord. So we're gonna download the Windows edition. Just note, this is only for Windows 10 computers. Apple, no go. Chromebooks, no go. Only Windows 10. So you're gonna wanna go right here and you're gonna wanna click download on the Windows icon. We'll start to download, it's a very quick one. And we're gonna drag it out right here. And we're gonna keep it on our desktop for now. Next thing we have to download is 7-Zip. 7-Zip makes it so we can open up the soundboard and extract the files. So we're going to want to download depending on which version of Windows you have. So we're going to go down here to start, type in control panel. We're going to open this up. You're going to see all these menus, but you're going to want to go to system and security system. And you're going to get popped up here. You're going to want to look for system type and it says for me 64 bit operating system. And if yours says 32, you're going to want to choose 32. And if yours is 64, you're going to want to choose 64. So for me, I'm going to download the second one. It's going to take a bit. And it's going to download. You're going to want to open it. And it will say something. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You're going to want to say yes. It will say where you want to install. Just click install. It will finish. And you can close. And you can close the tab. And you can close your system menu. So that's going to install 7-Zip, which is what we're going to need for this. So you're going to find in the description a third link, which is going to lead you to Dropbox.com. When you're in here, you're going to want to click download. It's going to download. Might take a bit. We're going to want to drag that to our desktop right next to the VB cable. So for right now, we're going to want to open VB cable driver pack, whatever. I'm going to want to right click. I'm going to want to do extract all. I'm going to want to press extract. I'm going to get this opened up and I'm going to get our new folder on my desktop. I'm going to move that right next to VB cable and delete this one that is zipped up. Then I'm going to get this window right here, scroll down till I see these two blue icons that say VB cable underscore setup underscore x64.exe, might not say exe, and VB cable underscore setup.exe. For me, I have 64 bit, so I'm going to run this one right here. If you have 32 bit, you're going to want to run this one. To find out if you're 32-bit or 64-bit, you're going to want to do the step I did earlier. I'm going to run the 64-bit one, but I'm going to have to make sure to right-click and run as administrator. It will say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? I'm going to say yes, and it will show this new menu. You're going to want to do the exact same thing if you're on vbcable underscore setup.exe with right-clicking and do run as administrator. When you have this thing open, you're going to want to click install driver. It will now pop up this window that says installation complete and successful. You might need to reboot your computer to finalize installation. You're going to want to just press OK for now. It might open a new tab on your computer, close it, and you're going to want to close this menu. You can now delete this unzipped folder that you have of VB cable. Now that you have installed it, it said you're going to have to restart your computer. So right now, you're going to want to go to the bottom left and of course restart your computer right here. You should do that right now and come back to the video All right, after you restarted your computer, you're going to have this one last file on your desktop called simplesoundboard.zip. You're going to want to right click. You're going to want to do extract all. You're going to want to extract it. You're going to get this new file on your desktop. You're going to want to drag it right there, and you're going to want to keep this one safe. While with the other one, you're going to want to delete it. Now we're at the final steps. Right click on the simplesoundboard.rar, do 7-zip, and extract files. Click OK. It will make a new folder. Next thing to do is drag it out. And you're going to get this folder right here. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to delete the file of the simple soundboard because it's not necessary anymore. Same with fix. Now you have your files to make your soundboard. What I like to do before starting is I want to right click on simple soundboard and then I want to create shortcut. 
Now this gives a thing so I don't have to keep it in that folder. If I move one of these things out of this folder, it will destroy the soundboard. So you're going to want to keep this folder somewhere else on your computer, but make sure to have this shortcut, which will have a symbol on it. Now you can close this and you can put it somewhere else. I'm going to put it in the top right. Now you have this shortcut. You can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name it test soundboard. I'm going to open it up. And you'll see this menu. Might look confusing at first, but don't worry. Your first steps are to find out what your headphones are and your microphone. So I'm going to set this up. So you're going to want to right click on here and you want to go to sounds. But some people don't have that menu. So you're going to want to right click, open sound settings, show up this menu, make it big enough so then you can see the right side of your screen where it says sound control panel. Or you can scroll all the way to the bottom. Now it will open up this menu right here. Might look confusing again, but don't worry. You're going to want to go and set your default playback to your headphones. For me, I have two of them and you're going to be wondering, how do I make sure which are my headphones? What I like to do is I like to double click on one of them. Then I like to go to advanced and I like to go to test. For me, I will be able to hear noises. You will be able to hear that. Now you're going to want to close out of that if that's your headphones. For me, these are also another audio device that I have on my computer, but when I press play, Nothing is plain. You can't hear it. I can't hear it. So now I have found out that my headphones are the Logitech G935, or just called headphones on the computer. So I'm going to want to click on headphones, and I'm going to want to set as default right here. Now you'll see this extra one called Retro Audio Cable, called Speakers. You're going to just not want to worry about that. That you're going to just want to put to the back of your mind, and don't worry about it at all. It's going to be there, but you don't need to worry. We're going to go to recording and I'm going to, you're going to see four things for me. You might have two, three, or four as me. As I'm talking, I can see two bars are moving. I'm going to want to figure out which one is my microphone. So if I tap on this, only one microphone is going up. So I realized that the Blue Yeti is my microphone or there's another way where you can double click and then you can go to listen and then you'll see this a menu. You're going to want to click to listen to this device and apply. You'll be able to hear yourself. And if you do, then you'll figure out that's the right mic. You're going to want to keep listen on, but you're going to want to change the default playback device to VB Audio Virtual Cable. It will show this menu again with the speaker icon. You're going to want to click apply. Now, when I talk into my microphone, it also goes through cable output which is a good thing. And you'll find out that when I'm talking, it also goes through VB audio virtual cable of the playback section. So now that I've configured that my headphones are my headphones and I've set that as default, you're going to want to also go to recording and set the cable output as default, not your microphone cable output. This is where people make the most mistakes. So you're going to want to make sure to set cable output as default. Now that you have finished that step, you can close this you're going to want to bring out your soundboard. Now you're going to have an add, remove selected, hockey section, volume section, and a start button. Right now we're not going to worry about any of that except down here of the enabled device volume and ID. The ID you're not going to worry about and you're not going to need. But your device name is what you're going to need the most. So first thing you should do is set cable input to be on, which makes it so people can hear your soundboard through your mic. Then typically with my microphone level, I have it at around 70. So I drag it to 70. That might differ for you. Next thing I want to do is I want to set my default device enabled. And then I like to lower the volume so that I can hear people's reactions while my audio is being played. So I like to put it around 30. Then you're going to click start, but you're going to be wondering, I have no sounds and I can't do anything yet. And that's true. You can either one, continue with the tutorial of how to get your own voice as a soundboard, or you can two, download YouTube videos or some audio file that you can play. It wants a .mp3 as a file type, if you know what that is. But for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your own voice because I can't show how to download YouTube videos. So once we have the soundboard, you can press stop and you can close it. That saves everything in it, so make sure to do that every single time you finish off with your soundboard. Next thing I need to do is we're going to start off with making our own voice as a soundboard. We're going to get to this audacityteam.org page with slash download right here. We're going to download Audacity for Windows 10. Click that. We're going to want to scroll down till we see Audacity 2.2, where it might be a different version depending on when you see this, installer. You're going to want to click the first link here. It might send you to this tab of weird stuff. 
you're going to want to go to Audacity Windows Installer, and you're going to want to click it. It's going to show you this in the bottom left, and I'm going to open it when it's ready. And my file has finished, so I'm going to run it. You'll see this, or you might not, depending. You're going to want to click Run. It will say something on your screen. Do you want to allow the changes, blah, 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 to your computer? Say yes. You're going to want to click on English, and you want to go Next. Next, or read all this. You're going to want to just click next. And then I like to create a desktop shortcut. So next. It shows what all you want. And that's what I want. So I'm going to press install. It's going to do all this stuff. It might take a bit for you. And then now you are ready to install it. And I'm going to press finish. It will launch the application. This will also look very confusing. But the main things that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set our microphone to our actual microphone and not cable output. So for me, I said again, Blue Yeti microphone. And for my headphones is just my headphones, which are the Logitech G935. All right, in this menu, you'll see that there's nothing down here, which is where you do all your audio. To start making a sound of yourself, you're gonna wanna click this button, record right here, or press R. I'm gonna create a quick sample of me saying something. Hello, it is me. So you see this menu pop up of you speaking right here. You're going to want to cut out all the, all the silent parts or all the parts where you're not speaking. So I cut out all the silence here and I cut off all the silence at the beginning. So then it immediately plays it whenever I press the button on my keyboard to play the soundboard. So now you're going to have this. Hello, it is me. So I'm going to want to press file, export, export as MP3. Make sure it is MP3 and not WAV or AUG. So export as mp3. I'm going to get this menu here. And I'm going to put it to my desktop. And I'm going to call it hello. You don't need to worry about any of this stuff. Just keep it standard. Press save. And it's going to go to your desktop. As of right here. I'm going to close this tab now. And so now I have Audacity. My test soundboard. And my hello audio file. Audacity can go to the top right. Because that's where I tend to leave it. And I'm going to create a new folder for all my sound effects. So I'm going to go to new and then folder. I'm going to type in sound effects. And I'm going to put hello in this folder. I'm going to drag it to the top right out of my view. And I'm going to open the soundboard once again. I'm going to get this menu. And if you did save it correctly as of closing it right here and pressing stop before that, you should have your same volume levels and everything. So I'm going to go to add and I'm going to go to my desktop. And in my desktop, I see simple soundboard and sound effects. I put my hello.mp3 file in sound effects. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to want to go to hello and I'm just going to press open. It will now put it here and I'm going to want to first off, I'm going to set up a stop hotkey. What I like to do is a stop hotkey is alt grave. And it might say something weird like om tilde. That's just the name for the button on your keyboard. So I've now set a stop. And I'm going to want to click on this one and I'm going to want to do another hockey. I like to do control alt and then a, and then a key. So I'm going to do F. You can also do number keys, but just note that you can't do control alt one or also will say invalid. You're going to have to do alt one, which will say D one or control one. For now, I'm just going to do control alt F, which has already been saved. And you have to make sure to press save every single time. If you don't like that hockey, you're going to want to press reset right here. But I'm going to put it back and save it. Now I am ready to use my soundboard. I'm going to press start. And I'm going to do control, alt, f. Hello, it is me. And if I were to play it and then did alt, grave, hello, it is me. It would stop it off early. And so now you might be wondering, how do I make this work with Discord or any application that, you know, that uses a microphone? So I'm going to be using Discord as a way to show you. I'm going to move that there in this here. I'm going to want to go to settings, which is around here. And I'm going to want to go to voice and video. And then I'm going to have my input device and my output device. My input device is my microphone, of course. And my output device is my headphones, right? I'm going to want to click start here just to start the soundboard. I'm going to see that my input device, I'm going to want to change it to cable output. Your output device should stay default or as your headphones. It doesn't really matter which. So yeah. So now if I were to test it right here. Hello, it is me. I played hello, it is me. But let's say you don't want just your soundboard and you want your microphone to go through. And as we did earlier with the step of changing it so it listens, we can now make it so also our mic can go through. You're gonna wanna keep listen on, but you're gonna wanna change the default playback device to VB Audio Virtual Cable. 
it will show this menu again with the speaker icon. I'm going to want to click apply. Hello, Hello it, is me. it is me. And I can also, I can have, also my have my soundboard. Hello, it is me. Two different, Two different scenes. scenes. So yeah, that is how you make a simple soundboard. Any questions, put in the comments. But yeah, hope you have fun fooling around with people.